This video is my fifth and final of my build of the E2A Hawkeye of VAW-112 Golden Hawks in my 1968 USS Enterprise project, the ship in 1-720, and all the Carrier Air Wing 9 aircraft in both 1-72 and 1-720. I'm going to start on the 1 to 720 E2As, and I have a couple sets. These came from the original set. These I got at a show. They came in a bag like this with a bunch of other stuff. And then these, when I was working on the USS Enterprise ship, I kit bashed CVN 62, the USS Independence, and these came from that set. And I need four of them because I have four Starfighter decal sets. Just looking at these, on the actual plane, the side fins come down below the wing, which on these indie ones they do. See, those come below the wing, whereas these do not. They're all above. I'm gonna have to make a little winglet to come down below. These are more accurate. It is slightly forward. If you can see there, the disc is is actually slightly forward of the um, support, which it is on the actual plane. I think for consistency, I'm gonna go with these four because they're clearly, it's all the same. There's a hole there. I'll have to fill that in. So this set is the gold medal models one to 700 detail set. And this is a really nice kit. It has the main landing gear, the nose landing gear, the propellers, the landing gear main doors, and then the front doors. And that's nice. The side landing gear doors are molded in all one piece. And then considering these decals, they give you the numbers that go in the nose. So it's 701, 702, 703, 704. Four. They give you the black that goes on the nose in the form of a decal. The entire side, and I can see here that USS Enterprise is too wide to reference this, but I'm going to let it slide. The wrong logo, and I'll think about how I'm going to address that. I may just do some sort of blue dot or something. The insignias that go on the wing and then the tail. I'm gonna fill the hole in here with the extra thick super glue. And okay, this is dry now. I'm just gonna smooth it out on the top there. To make these tail side control surfaces correct, the ones on the sides need to come down. I cut this out of this very thin sheet styrene. So it should look something like that. Seven more of these. Next, I think I'll cut all of these out and clean all of these up. So I have these kind of cleaned up. Now I'm trying to get these tail fins thinner and to kind of come to a point uh, on the front. So I'm using the flexi file and, and what I did is I took a, a regular sized one and then cut it down near and made it more narrow uh, to get between there. So the next thing to do will be to put the bottoms of these side tails on like that, the super thin super glue. All right, these are dry. I'm gonna come back um, and sand these. Upon a closer examination of this photo etch, I do think I need to take these pegs off now before I paint in preparation for the landing gear later. So now that I have the planes kind of where I want them, next will be the painting and it'll be a three-step process with three different paints. First what I'll do is I'll use the gunship gray, which if you recall in the 1 to 72 plane is what I did the walkways in. So I'll just shoot this area right here with the gunship gray and then in masking tape kind of make the walkways and, and mask those off. Maybe what I'll do is reduce down that copy of the walkway I made and get it as accurate as possible and then carve that out of the tape and then mask each of the walkways. Then I'll come back with the flat gold gray, the 36440, do basically the whole plane, let that dry and then mask that off and then 
come back with the white uh, and do the white on the bottoms and the control surfaces. So kind of the opposite of how I did the 1 to 72 clean where I started with the white and then went to the gray. And that's the first color for these. Let those dry. I'll make those masks for the walkway and then come back and do the flat gold gray. So what I did on my printer, so here's the original size, and then I reduced that down and then made four of these. It's supposed to you know, be just between the two folds, and that seems to be correct. I'll use these and put them over the tape and cut over these. This is the results of, uh, you know, using these as the template. I'm done with the flat gold gray on both sides, as well as on the disc. These are masked now. Basically, I went with the Tamiya tape and taped what should remain gray. And then used the painter's tape and one of my scribing tools to make the circles to go on top of the discs. white. So I hand brushed the white, then removed all the masking tape. Overall, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. Similar to how I masked for the white, I masked on both sides and now I'm touching the front with the black. So I've masked the wing tips and these tail tips. The only blue I have that's going to work is uh, this dark blue and a spray can, so I sprayed some there. All right. I did the windshields and the escape hatches in sapphire blue, and that's freehand. So the decals have these, you know, black decals that go on the nose right up against those windows. Um, so hopefully that'll give it a halfway decent uh, separation line. For the most part, I'm happy with that. Again, these are one to 720 and yeah. Realistically, you're gonna kind of see them like that, so. To seal down all the paints and in preparation for decals, I airbrushed Pledge Clear Coat on all the planes and discs. I'm attempting to make the Squadron insignia or Squadron logo, so I started with the internet image that I have. I reduced that image 50%, reduced that image 50%, then made seven more of those to have a total of eight, reduce those, and I think those are pretty close to those 701s, at least close enough where, you know, it'll still retain any sense of detail. So those are as close to that nose number as I could get. So then loaded the printer with decal paper, and, and I tried three different kinds and printed those out, and I'll give these a try and see which ones work best. I know they kind of just look like blue dots, but they are actually the proper logo for 1968 so we'll see what happens getting ready to do the decals I have the starfighter decals from the 700-53 set carrier air wing 9 1968 here's the e2a so I have four of those these the carrier film is total Right? So you have to cut these out individually. You have to cut that carrier film right up next to them. They're not individually pre-cut. I wanna find the worst one to start with and, and just see how things go. I'll make this one 701, we'll just go in order. I'm starting out by just scoring the carrier film. And again, just trying to get it as close, you know, leave a little room next to it, but get it as close as I can. And then this will be tricky because you do have to get right up in there around that so that it'll conform to that nose. So I'll use the actual plane, which I used references for to locate that number as well as the insignia. So there's the 701 on the front, the NG and the tail code on the back, decals on the wings, and you can see the black on the nose. 
and once I put that red setting solution on, that carrier film completely disappears. There's the other side. Put this insignia on. I'm gonna give these a try. Leave that one as the Walters, which I believe I've had the most luck with in the past. So that's immediately after application. I'm gonna hit that with the red microsol and see how it turns out. But again, this is my worst plane. And if it turns out even halfway decent, I'll use it on the rest of the planes. Well, the decals are on. I'm pretty pleased with the way this came out. As you can see, those uh, insignias didn't come out too bad. Um, I had to hit them with the Salva set to get them to fully snuggle down. And all the rest of the decals I hit with the red Microsol. And everything uh, snuggled down pretty good. Before I do the photo etch, I'm going to fold the wings on three of, the, uh, of these four. I'm gonna leave the 704 plane complete. It's my nicest one. I'll leave the wings on and I'll probably display it with the big one. But uh, for the other three, I'm going to fold the wings. And as you can see here on the 1 to 72, those folds are basically just outside the engines. And you can see there, just outside the engines and um, walkways. I have my razor saw, so I'm going to cut those. Looking from the side on this one, it's almost like at the back behind that walkway and goes to about the back of the back wing. Something like that. I think what I'll do is maybe put a blob of sticky tack right here and then it can rest on that sticky tack while it dries there. Okay, there we go. We have three with the wings folded back and one without. So there's the 702 plane. Here's the 702 plane with the wings back. I'm pretty pleased with the way the folded back wings look. Uh, I, I think that's, you know, pretty close to references. I think those insignias actually, you know, came out halfway decent. You know, that's what the spacing and, and the insignia next to the number look like. and. and and I think I did, you know, it came out okay. It's a little blurry or whatever, but again, these are one to 720. The next thing I'm gonna work on are the photo etched parts. I'm going to start with the propellers. I want to simulate that cone at the, at the center of the propellers. So what I'm going to use to do that, I hit my spares, rockets, and missiles, found these. So I'll use the tips of these rockets and cut them off with my razor saw and miter box. And then and place those tips in the center of the propellers to recreate this look. I think that'll work. There's my cones for the propellers. I'm gonna cut out the propellers. To paint the propellers, I just stuck them to the sticky side of a post-it note to kind of hold them in place, but not too firmly, and then just touch them with the flat black paint. And there's the black propellers. I touch the wheels with the black for the tires. Let that dry, flip it over, and do it on the other side. I painted the landing gear doors white. I'm starting with the front landing gear struts, and now I have the the rear landing struts. The landing gear struts are painted white. Okay, and here's the rear wheels and the front wheels. The landing gear doors are next. The landing gear and the doors there. I can see the door in the front and on the side. I will do the other three planes and then uh, move on to the propellers. I have the uh, landing gear, landing gear doors, and the propellers on. It's looking pretty good. And now I have to put those propeller cones on. Okay, so I touch the first two cones to the center. Oh, 
All the cones are on the propellers. Now I will let those dry and then touch them with uh, the black paint. I think I'm gonna put the discs on, but I think I'm gonna put them on with sticky tack. For whatever reason, if I wanna, I may wanna take the discs off. All right, here are the completed planes. Did the 704 plane with the wings unfolded and the rest of the planes with wings folded. So while you look at these, I just want to mention the 1 to 72 video is up to 380 views in just two weeks, which is far and away the quickest I've ever gotten to even 100 views. And I'm up to 273 subscribers, which really took off after the Finish It in February group build, where I got a lot of exposure. So thanks so much to Charlie Mack and Tim at Throttle Power, and also Mutt Modeler for the shout out. I think I got like 20 subs from that alone. And thanks to all the subscribers. It's really gratifying to know others are actually interested in what I'm doing. So thank you all so much. So anyway, here's the 720s with the 72. And similar to the other CVW9 planes, I'm displaying all the 72s with a single 720. Here's two of them on the Enterprise deck. Wow, look at that dust. When all the planes are done, I'll glue everything into final position after some research to determine how many of each and where they should be. So there they sit on the shelf with their shipmates. So as always, thanks for watching and happy modeling.